got a minute left before I get out of here because I got I'm growing some um I'm taking care of some business with these plants. All right, so guys, till next time, don't play the victim role. Man up, woman up. Take responsibility for your actions. Um, yeah, things are happening in the world. It's you know it's really sad that it's freedom of speech. I hear all of that, but a lot of you guys are not taking full advantage of your freedom. And I, when I say that, you're not, you're not free inside of yourself. A lot of you guys are, are your own worst enemies because you have negative conversations about yourself. You have low self-esteem. So regardless of what's going on outside, if you don't take care of you first and clean that self up, uh, ain't nothing right going to go. So spend some time loving up on yourself mentally, physically, and spiritually. Also, mind your business. That's a spiritual practice. Mind your business and, and, and don't gossip. Don't gossip. If you don't have anything nice to say, just say, you know what? I'll have a nice day. Don't say nothing. I'd rather you not say nothing because gossip is toxic. That's that's like chemical waste coming out of your mouth. So anytime you gossip and it's not true, you don't even know if it's true. You just want to you want some attention and you want people to see you, but you what you're saying is not true. And you're what you're doing is you're you're ruining somebody's reputation. And you don't have the facts. So gossip is, is it. And I look at people who gossip sideways. And I don't, I don't engage in gossip. Because whatever's going on, what's in the darkness will come to the light. Nobody needs you to run your mouth and tell somebody's business if you don't know it's true. Just keep your mouth shut. A lot of times, and also what I do is I do a meditation and silence. There are, I, I go through not judging people. Two hours. Try this, this meditation too. Today, give two hours of not judging people. Just don't, don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. Two hours of meditation of non-judgment. Don't say anything negative. And if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say nothing at all. If you don't know the facts, if you don't know the facts, don't say nothing. Because that, that, we're tearing each other down. We're talking about what's going on in the Middle East, and we're talking about freedom of speech being taken away. We're so in arms, but we're not in arms of what we're doing to other people. We, we don't see the correlation that as above below that what we're doing in our in our world is is manifesting in the in the, in the physical world and it's wreaking havoc on the planet so we're all guilty of that so if you're gossiping and today's saturday just go walk in the park with nature go hug a tree go buy yourself some some of uh, some uh vegetables to get one of my recipes and just spend some time in meditation and prayer and, and make your food today instead of eating out in the street Invite everybody to your house. Don't don't have to go to no restaurant, no diner, and spend a bunch of money. Go to the farmers market and make your family some food. You don't have to. You don't have to eat that street food today. It's Saturday. You don't have no excuse why you ain't in that kitchen. Get in that kitchen and make that food. And stop and stop using things as an excuse that you're a victim. You're not a victim. You're a willing participant. And what goes into your mouth, what comes out of your mouth, you're not a victim. <laughs> You guys kill me with this victim thing. Not, none of us. The reason why you got, you talking about your freedom of speech is being take, taken away is because a lot of you guys, you know, you, you have negative vibrations in your body. You, 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 when you do talk, it's not even about the facts. It's gossiping. You know, you, you can see it on all of the tabloids and, and the news and stuff like that. Half that stuff is not even true. And then you run it. It's like telephone. Somebody told you something you tell somebody else, somebody else tells somebody else, and it, and, it, and, it, and it blows up to be a totally different story of what it really originally started. And then a lot of times with these news and on TV, you can't believe everything that you hear nowadays, especially with AI. You know, come on now, guys. You know, let, let's, let's, keep it, let's keep it on a loving vibration. Let's keep it on a loving vibration. If you don't know the facts, just don't say nothing because that's one way of putting peace and love in the world is just to learn how to just mind your business that's a spiritual practice some people just can't do it they got to be in everybody's business and and telling everybody's business and tearing somebody down and then we talk about what's going on in the middle east but we doing the same thing in our own world and it's only just manifesting magnified to a greater and that's why we got we got we wreaking havoc because a lot of us like drama Instead of going in that kitchen and cutting some fruits and vegetables and minding your business, you, you, your mouth is running like water. You got to go run and do this. Run, go tell that. That's not true. <laughs> so just spend some time today just being quiet in meditation and prayer and come back to peace. We want peace in the world. But peace starts with you first. 
It starts with you first. Go out and walk around the block and, and get some get some air. Go go and, inv- and and enjoy nature. But but today is a day of peace and silence and peace on earth. Peace in you, in you, in your in your gut, in your soul. Peace starts. Charity starts in the home. Peace starts in the home. So let's just cut down on some of the drama so we can make earth a beautiful place for our children and our grandchildren. Because we're tearing it apart right now. We're, we're all guilty of it. All of us are guilty of it. You run around here drinking alcohol in front of the kids, fornicating with this person. You ain't got no wedding ring on your finger. You out here doing God knows what on Saturday, running them streets, cursing, and doing all kind of stuff that's not healthy. 